Hey chicks, I am going to show you a solution if you have one of these. These are the tartar hay baskets and we have a lot of customers who have these and have asked us what can I do to make this product work better. So we thought, hey, we're going to make a video and show you. You can get probably upwards of about eight bales of small square bales now in this. And so what you're gonna do is just basically drape that net in there, making sure your quick link's just centered in the middle. And then what I do is just go around and I might have to go chase off this big pertron that thinks that he's going to take a bite of Pamela. Now that's real. <laughs> uh, but what we're going to do is just take these zip ties and what you want to do is you want to make sure you get at least two knots around these pieces and then just tighten those down and then you're just going to go and work your way around. So as you can see, we have a definitely attracted an audience in this one. But what we're going to do, we threw in three bales. You can get more in there. Make sure you take off your twine. Make sure you take off your twine. And then you just um, are going to secure up your net like you normally would. And if you've never used one of our nets, what you're going to do is take your hoggle and just take and slide it down towards the top. So just take and take the rope. <clears throat> take and put a half hitch knot around your hoggle, tighten that down, and then you're just going to daisy chain the rest of this. Make sure your daisy chain is tight. That is it. You can tuck it back on the inside if you want. You can leave it draped. I just have been leaving mine draped, but um, keeps it really super simple to use a hay net with your tartar hay basket. So.